Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial guys, we are going to embark on a journey into the world of DeepL, where language translation meets innovation. Join me as we explore the basics and unlock the power of this institutive tool for seamless translation experience. So guys, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So first of all guys, I would like you to go ahead and open deepl.com as you can see right here. After you do that, this is the website that you can open. Now deepl is basically a translator, just like for example, Google a translation or something like that. So Google Translate does the same thing as uh, like deepl. But DeepL, it is more accurate, it is more professional, and it's gonna give you exactly the translation of the phrase. For example, there is some phrases in other languages, in any language, that sh like it can't be translated uh, into another language uh, and keep in the same meaning. For example, I don't know, for example, uh, he eats an apple, for example, he eats an apple. If we write it here, uh, in Espanol it's el come una mañana, but uh, una manzana. But if we went for French, it's the same thing. It's gonna el mange un pom. But here, as you can see, this is the same translation word by word. But what if we wanted this phrase was ha or has a meaning or has a hidden meaning in it or it was like uh, a traditional uh, code that people are saying that has a specific meaning well in that case specifically google translate will not help us a lot because it will simply just not translate the word or the phrase with the meaning it will just simply translate each word inside of the phrase into the other language and the meaning can be gone this is why we are going to use DeepL. So how we can use it specifically? First of all, guys, you have this translator. So here you simply don't have to write or to actually give the language that you're going to start using. So we simply have to write, for example, I am. And here the uh, here you see uh, it can be translated, detecting the language automatically. If I wrote, for example, yo, it's going to be detecting uh, your soy, for example. Uh, here it's a mistake. Yeah, it didn't detect really the language, so let me just stick here. Detect language, you saw, uh, or no, something like that. Yep, here they have detected that it is Spanish. So, uh, here you don't really have to, sometimes you don't really have to actually, uh, the type the language name it was just simply detected by their own so this is a very good feature also here as you can see it will give you a lot of alternatives for the same phrase that could have different meanings so here for example I'm gonna translate it to English so we can understand it very well so English American so you saw una I am a or an so you saw una persona so I am a person, I am an individual, I am one person. So all of these three phrases can be a meaning of this phrase. Of course, using the context of this phrase and using this alternative, you could literally decide which one is fitting the most within the context. Now also, what is good about DeepL, it's because it has a very very interesting feature which can literally translate files for you so it has the possibility to translate PDF documents and PowerPoints for example here you simply have to drag and drop the file and it's gonna be translated to a specific language of your uh, of your choice or what's your desire exactly so first of all to get the access to that you have to sign up so to sign up you have to go here put your email put a here a password let me just use a random password so there we go I have created the account successfully and now let me just click right here translate file and here we have the three files that we can translate so we have PDF, Word file, and PowerPoint file. Now I'm going to select from my computer some of these files. So I'm simply going to click and 
first of all, let me just create one file. So I'm going right here to this PC. I'm going to desktop and I'm going to create a new file or new folder. So let's name it DeepL. And inside of it, I'm going to create a word file. So here we go. Let's name it test for translation. I'm going to write here a couple of phrases uh, in English. So let's do that. So hello. I am uh, like a person who likes to eat the meat and hate veggies and I'm going to save it. After I did that, I will simply just drag it, open this file and drag it, drop it right here. Now the language is automatically detected as English so what I'm gonna do is to choose the other language to be as Spanish so we simply have to pick Spanish and now it's gonna be translated into Spanish so we simply have to wait now for the file to be translated it's gonna be take some couple of seconds in case it was short and couple of minutes in case it has too many pages so once it is downloaded you simply have to open it and here it is. Hola, soy una persona que le gusta comer carne y odia veggies. So basically it is a correct translation for, for what we said. Let's make sure it is the thing that we said. If you want to do Google Traduction, I'm going to paste it right here. I'm going to use Espanol and here I'm going to translate it into English. So there we go. Uh, or let me just find English real quick. Okay, hello, I am a person who likes to eat meat and hate veggies. This is exactly what we have been written in the original file. So there we go, let's open it. And hello, I am a person who likes to eat meat and hate veggies. So this is a very, very cool feature, which you could use for free, as you could see. I didn't buy anything, and I have just created my account right in front of you. Here we can have DeepL Write, which is a very interesting tool. So you can literally uh, have your ideas written better than they are. For example, I like football. And here they will give you alternative for this phrase that could be more professional and more catching. For example, I like to watch football. I like soccer, my love of football, etc. So this is basically it for DeepL. It has these three mainly very, very insane features that can help you a lot writing articles, translating books, and simply communicating with others. Thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.